at you. They look like they have this scowl on their face. But that is the happiest looking buffalo I have seen in a long time. Besides all the appendages that he has all over him, which are the ox peckers that are busy flittering about and going up his ears and nose, he does look very smitten with life, doesn't he? Is that nice, buddy? I think he's quite enjoying the ox peckers at this stage, as long as they don't go right into the ear. It must be quite nice for them just to bounce around and pull off all those little ticks. Look at the eyes now. You can see he's almost closing them as to say, that, oof, that's the spot. You're hitting the spot. <laughs> Very cool. Right, and we know he's a male just because of his horn structure. You can see he's got a big helmet-like structure on top of his head. If there was a female, she wouldn't have that. She would have a hairy top with very undefined horns on top. So we know that he's a boy. Also, look at the size of that neck area. It is huge. Now, this buffalo is actually not an old buffalo. You can tell by his ears. His ears are actually in perfect condition. So it's one of the signs you can use for aging buffalo. Generally, when a buffalo starts to get a little bit older, its ears become very, very tatty and worn, whereas this guy's ears are in good condition. Even his boss and his horns don't have too many chips or cuts out of them or little dents. So he is in great condition. And it's so nice to see healthy buffalo again. After the drought that we had last or last year, it was terrible to see the condition of some of these buffalo. They were all skin and bone and really not looking healthy at all. Whereas this guy looks great. His muscular structure around his neck and shoulders is massive. And you can also see around his hip area that it's nice and round. There's no bones protruding out there. We're not seeing the ribs like we were seeing last year.